graph traversal algorithms, depth first and breadth first search algorithm. Both are examples for decrease and conquer. Here graph traversal means you are required to process all the vertices and edges of the graph in systematic fashion because you already know that graph is a non-linear data structure so you cannot process the vertices in sequential order some way of processing the vertices of the graph is required one such algorithm i am going to discuss now is depth first search algorithm in depth first search algorithm the idea here is start with a then visit adjacent to a then adjacent to adjacent to a then adjacent to adjacent to a is this so depth first search so here start is start with a then b then c then d with that you have reached a dead end there are no more vertices to be visited so now backtrack to c then b then visit e again backtrack to e then visit f then g then finally h so now this whatever number i have written here will indicate the order in which the vertices are visited that is a b c d then e then f g h now we'll see the pseudo code for dfs <coughs> here all the vertices initially you have to mark with value zero that indicates that all the vertices are not being visited now use the count variable it's a global variable initialized to zero then for each vertex v in vertex set v if v is marked with value zero then you have to invoke dfs with that vertex v then increment the count by one mark v with count for each vertex w adjacent to v if w is marked with zero then you have to invoke dfs with node w let me explain with a previous example only so initialize all these vertices with value zero initially so then count is set to value zero call the first vertex as v now that is first vertex v is nothing but a so invoke dfs with a when you invoke then then increment the count by one mark v with count here v is nothing but a now a is set to one for each vertex w in vertex set v adjacent to v so now adjacent to v is b initially all this are equal to zero since it is marked with value zero invoke dfs with b this is all about dfs algorithm so let me explain again what dfs algorithm is initialize all the vertices as equal to zero this indicates that all vertices are not visited mark each vertex in v with zero as a mark of being unvisited then set the global variable count to value zero for each vertex v in v if v is marked with zero call dfs algorithm with v then increment the count mark v with count for each vertex w adjacent to v if w is marked with zero call dfs algorithm here initialize all with value zero then <coughs> uh, set the count equal to zero 
for each vertex v if it is marked with value 0 then invoke dfs and increment count by 1 so after incrementing count by 1 assign that count to v now here i have assigned 1 to v then for each vertex w adjacent to v if w is marked with 0 here initially b was marked with value 0 then call dfs with node b so again this count gets incremented that incremented count value will be assigned to b so like this the algorithm will work now we will see for another example here in this graph there are 10 vertices since we are following here lexicographic order i start with a first so in order to traverse this graph by applying dfs algorithm we are using a data structure called stack now start with a so since you are starting with a push this a to stack then c then d for a all these three are even though all these three are adjacent vertices since i am following dictionary order so i am considering c as the adjacent vertex this a c d so with that you have reached the dead end so when you reach the dead end pop out the top element from the stack now top element in the stack is t so this is removed now on the top of the stack c is there for c the adjacent is f then for f both e and b are adjacent but since we are following dictionary order i will push b first into the stack and then e with that again you have reached the dead end now pop out this e from the stack then b then f then c then a so with that you have removed all the vertices of the graph from the stack now there are some more vertices which is marked with value 0 so freshly you have to start dfs algorithm with this g because compared to g h i j g comes first start with g so count is a global variable already it is its value is 6 so now since you are invoking the dfs algorithm with g now g will be assigned with the count 7 then adjacent to g is h then i j so 7 8 9 10 this is the order in which the vertices are pushed into the stack so with this you have reached the dead end that is g h i j now remove this from the stack now i will be on the top already you have explored all the vertices adjacent vertices of i so there are no more so pop out this i okay then h then g so the popping of order for this graph is 7 8 9 10 seventh one is j then eighth one is i then h is ninth and g is tenth element which is popped out now when you traverse this graph the order in which you are traversing this order will redraw the tree will redraw the graph as tree like this a c d then you will be backtracking to c from c you are exploring f b e okay then firstly you started with g h i j so now you are getting two trees here both are disjoint trees so a set of disjoint tree is called a forest whenever you apply dfs algorithm if you get a forest 
then you can say the graph is disconnected graph this is disconnect disconnected you can easily make out by looking at the graph so now here when you traverse this graph look at this is a connected graph you'll be getting a single tree so when you get a single tree when you apply a dfs travels a traversal algorithm then it is connected graph second property of the graph you can derive is whether the graph contains cycle or not here look at here you are getting a package that is d to a because there is there is a h from d to a again there is a h from e to f and there is a h from e to a a h connects a node to its ancestor is called package here so like that you are getting many back edges this indicates that graph contains cycle so we have derived two properties when you when you apply the dfs algorithm one property is you can derive whether graph is connected or not or cyclic or not when when you get a forest then you can see the graph is disconnected graph if you get back edge then you can say that graph is cyclic graph when there is no back edge then the graph is graph is not cyclic it is not cyc it is a cyclic graph okay these properties can be derived when you apply dfs traversal algorithm so dfs algorithm can be implemented with the graphs represented as adjacency matrix or adjacency list if you have implemented graph using adjacency matrix then dfs algorithm complexity is theta of v square if it is implemented using adjacency list its uh, complexity is theta of modulus of v plus modulus of e this dfs yields two distinct ordering of vertices one is order in which vertices are first encountered that is pushed on to the stack second order is order in which vertices become dead ends that is popped off stack uh, as i told you when i uh, with the example you can check whether the graph is connected or not or you can find connected components you can check the acyclicity of the graph and you can find the articulation point and also by applying dfs algorithm you can construct state space tree to find the solution for a given graph in this example this is called articulation point because removal of this point results in disjoint components of the tree so that's why it is called articulation point